Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Steam Link with Big Box. Recently, Steam had a sale on their Steam Link. It was like 99 cent, but you had to buy a game. I got mine for about $14 shipped. And I wanna show you guys how to get Big Box up and streaming with the Steam Link to another TV in the house. I've tested a lot of standalone emulators with this Steam Link and Big Box. I've got a few of them work, few of them don't. So in this tutorial, we're gonna be focusing on RetroArch. So everything you see in this video is gonna be running inside of RetroArch through Big Box. I'm also using a Xbox One controller connected to my Steam Link. Now I don't have a Steam controller, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I think it might. I've also heard good things about the DualShock 4 PlayStation 4 controller. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we wanna do is open up Steam. We're gonna add Big Box to our Steam library. From here, we're gonna to go to Games, add a non-Steam game to my library. So I have a Big Box and LaunchBox shortcut on my desktop, and I'm just gonna be using that. You can always navigate to your LaunchBox directory and use that EXE, but for me, mine's already on my desktop, and I can see it right here. So I might as well go ahead and use this. Make sure it's checked, add selected programs. We can go to library and we now have the bigbox.exe right here in Steam. We could go ahead and launch it from Steam, but I wanna stream my big box setup to my TV out in my living room. If you haven't set up your Steam link yet, you need to do that. It's really simple to do. You'll just plug it in, connect to the same network. It'll give you a code on screen. You have to input the code here within Steam. Let's move over to my Steam link now and we'll get big box streaming. All right, so here we are at the main menu of my Steam link. It's detected my PC because I'm on the same network. I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. There's a few settings we need to change in Steam's big picture mode before we start big box up. We're gonna go up to the top here. You can also use your keyboard to do this, but I'm using an Xbox One controller. Settings, scroll to controller settings, and you need to change it to whatever gamepad you're using. If you're using the PS4 controller, Xbox controller or a generic gamepad. Like I mentioned, I'm using an Xbox controller, so I have this check. Make sure it's detected your controller here. You can go to identify and it should come up with the correct controller. We're gonna back out. Now we're gonna go to our library. From here, find your bigbox.exe. Mine's here, I'm gonna press A on my controller. I'm gonna go to manage shortcut controller configuration. From here, we're gonna press X on our controller. If you look at the bottom here, it'll show you X browse configs. Make sure you go to templates and choose gamepad. That way, Y is Y, X is X, B is B, A is A. It's set up just like a gaming controller instead of a keyboard. We're gonna press X again to apply configuration. Now this could be different on your PS4 controller, so just make sure you look at the bottom there. We're gonna back up and we can start big box. We're gonna click play. All right, so we're now streaming Big Box to our Steam link. So when you get into Big Box, if your controller is not working, you don't have controllers enabled within the settings. You can use your keyboard, press escape. We're gonna to go to options, scroll down to controller. Make sure you have enable game controllers checked now I also check use all controllers. Controller buttons. This should be set up, but if you need to remap them, you can go through and remap them. And finally, controller automation. Check use controller automation. You need to set up a button you wanna hold. So I'm gonna set up B. You can set any button up. Close the active window. I'm gonna use Y. So when I press B and Y at the same time, it will close RetroArch and bring us back into Big Box. We're gonna back up out of here. Now it's time to start a game. Like I mentioned, I'm using RetroArch to stream these games because the controller's already set up. It's the easiest way to go. You could go through each standalone emulator and map your controller accordingly. A lot of them are gonna work and you're gonna run into some that you will not be able to get to work. So for this tutorial, I'm using RetroArch. You can go ahead and play the game. I'm now streaming the Genesis Core from RetroArch through Big Box to my Steam Link. 
My controller works just fine. And to exit, hold your controller automation buttons that you set up. I was also able to get Dolphin up and running. I just had to map my buttons accordingly within the Dolphin emulator first. Now, some of you might run into issues with black screens and things like that. That's really due to your driver or the GPU you're using. One workaround I found with RetroArch is to go into RetroArch. From the RetroArch menu, go to the settings tab, driver, video driver, and change it to Vulkan. Now some emulators within RetroArch don't work with Vulkan, but a majority of them do, and in my opinion, a lot of them work better with Vulkan. Now you only need to change this if you're getting a black screen when you start RetroArch through Big Box on your streaming device. The other workaround I know of is downgrading your GPU driver. Now I have an NVIDIA GTX 1060, and the latest driver works for me with OpenGL, so I don't have to use Vulkan. But I do have another system with an NVIDIA 950 and I had to downgrade my GPU driver like three versions back to get it to work with OpenGL. Go to Exit RetroArch. So that's it for this video guys, I really appreciate you watching. It seems to me that the NVIDIA cards work better for streaming. They do support AMD with the Steam Link, but in my experience it hasn't been the best. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. And like always, thanks for watching.